Crumble Cookies has won several awards for making very tasty cookies, but also for their dazzling online presence. I received a comment a few weeks back asking if I could make something from their site, and behold, I have answered. I'm going to show you how to create your own version of the Crumble Showcase section featuring a large image and a nifty hover effect along with a couple of call to action buttons. This design is sure to grab your customer's attention in all the right ways. I've been building sections like this for years and today I'm giving another one away. Just simply copy and paste this code into a new section file and you're good to go. If you want a few more details and customization options, then stick around. We're going to utilize HTML and CSS in this guide and of course liquid customization options. As always, if you see a cool e-commerce feature that you'd like to see on your store, then make sure to subscribe, like this video, and drop me a comment pointing me to that design. I appreciate all the support from you guys. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now the first thing we want to do is come into our Shopify uh, admin, and then we're going to make sure we have a duplicate theme here. So you just want to make sure that you duplicate whatever your production theme is. We're gonna come right in here to the three dot menu and edit this code. After you have opened this page, you can minimize all these windows except for sections. And we're gonna uh, create a new section right here. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it cookie showcase and then make sure it has the dot liquid extension. And now I can just click done. Now what I'm gonna remove everything in this file. And the first thing I'm gonna do is paste in the styles, talk through it just a little bit, not too much, but just to give you an idea. So what I'm gonna do is at the top of the file, paste this. You'll see it's about 180 or so lines of code. And uh, we have it in between the style tags, which is the liquid um, syntax for adding styles. Um, we have a few things I'm gonna point out. This max height, this is kind of important. Um, just, and this will make more sense as we look at the uh, UI, but this is essentially setting the maximum height for the brown that's gonna hover and show the background color. So we need to make sure that our images are, if you want it to appear outside of the hover, like the crumble site does, you're gonna need your image to be over 400 pixels. Okay, cool, so if we keep going, you're gonna see we have a few uh, section styles here, or uh, section settings here, rather. And scrolling down, we have a few other things, um, a few other section settings. Again, this is like for customization that we're gonna be able to have in the theme editor, which is always nice. And then um, we also have, we have several more, but we also have some media queries, and this is just to make sure that it looks pretty okay on mobile and things like that. So I will point out a couple of these um, towards the end of the, um, of the video. But until then, let's move on with adding our HTML. Now right below our styles, I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. You'll see it has this class with this uh, cookie showcase. Also has this settings that's gonna add this uh, fli uh, flipped tag or not. Um, I'll show you what that looks like in the theme editor as well. It's gonna make sure that we can toggle which side the image is showing on, which is really cool. Um, we also have the image. Okay, so the image is showing here. And we have like a header and then like the uh, call to action buttons and the text, so forth. So this looks pretty good. This is gonna be an easier one too because we don't have any JavaScript. So all we need to do now is add our schema. So I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and I'm gonna paste this in, all this between the schema tags. And um, the beauty of schema is that it makes life easier for our non-technical merchants, right? So you don't have to know how to code to go in and change these things. So I have it called the cookie showcase. I'm just gonna change this. I'll just do cookie showcase. Um, okay, so that looks good. And I'm gonna remove the X from here as well. All right, cool. So this looks good. And now if I save this, I should be able to come to this three dot menu and customize my theme. Now what I'm gonna do is click add section. And if you wanna know the name of the section, you can come here and just go to the presets and it's this cookie showcase. So I can come here and I'm gonna search for cookie. All right, cool. So I can add this and you'll see, okay, so that's what it is so far. But what I need to do is add a few things. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, cookie image. You'll see it's about a little over 400 pixels. So it just barely um, shows outside of the hovered area, which is what I want. Um, looks like there's a few <clears throat> typos I have in here. I'm just gonna add the space there. Everything looks pretty good there. All right, I'm just gonna test um, and add a collection to link to to make sure these links work. Um, but you're obviously welcome to customize this as much as you would like. Um, you can also feel free to customize the colors and such if you would like, um, but I'm going to leave it as is. All right, now, so if I hit save, I should be able to come to this three-dot menu here and then click preview. And I'm just gonna give it a refresh for good measure. If I scroll down here, you're gonna see this section, okay? And everything looks really good on it so far. This is pretty much exactly what I wanted. And if I click on the buttons, they do in fact link to where I would like them. All right, cool. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and add one below. So we have like back to back. So I'll do the same thing. 
And I'm gonna add the same image, but what, I, what I'm also going to do is I'm gonna to toggle this flipped. So um, it should show on the opposite side. I'm good with all the colors. <clears throat> so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna come back here to my preview. Okay, cool, so as I refresh, you can see that it's now showing and it shows them like flipped on each side, which is exactly what we wanted. And then the last thing I wanna check is just on mobile to make sure that this still looks good. So you can see here, we have our column stacked and same right here. So that's exactly what we wanted. Now I will point out a few things that you may wanna customize on your own. So here on mobile especially, it can get kind of tricky with the spacing because these images are styled in what's called like a absolute positioning. This is kind of mess with the layout a little bit. Now the styles I have in place to fix this are right here at the bottom of the um, style sheet. So you can see here, I'm adding this margin here. You may have to adjust this, this number here, if it doesn't look correct or the way you want it to um, when it's stacked in mobile like this. And also here on like the desktop side of things, I have it by default, again, if I look at the code, I have a margin of 30 pixels, which is supposed to separate um, these sections from each other. But if you want more than that, then you can just go ahead and update this value right here, and that should be able to help you out. So I hope this has been helpful. I think this looks really great, and uh, I hope you'll like, comment, and I will see you in the next guide.